Oh my goodness, guys. Look at all this stuff. This is all in a single car garage. Wow, do we have our work cut out for us today. Hey everybody, it's Ford back with you from This Old Find, your source for everything estate sales. Today I'm going to give you a tour of kind of what we have here. It's packed full of vintage, a lot of fun stuff, some antiques, some collectibles. I'll show you guys a little bit of before and after of each room and kind of what it looks like when we came in and what it looks like after setting up. And also we can maybe dig through some boxes, see if we can't find some hidden gems and some hidden vintage toys or some collectibles or some advertising or whatever. Let's go take a look. Just from peeking in the garage before we start, I can see some things like this vintage can, this cool clock. Got a dollhouse down here hidden. Some old trunks, which they say they are full of toys, so can't even get to them yet. This aluminum cooler is kind of fun too. Camp cold. Never seen that before. Rachel's already killing it in the kitchen like usual. We have these two built-in corner cabinets that they actually want to sell, so we have to pull those out of the wall, and they are absolutely full. Right here is the future home of Checkout and Hold, and as you can see, it's uh, quite a mess right now, so we have a work cut out of us for us here. We have a three-bedroom home. One of them is more or less a library. Found these vintage books. This old Christmas book, Red Riding Hood. Here we have our second bedroom. Not as packed, mostly furniture. Our last bedroom has some boxes of who knows what and a really neat piece of mid century furniture. It's kind of buried. Battle checkers beat the access. Oh, that's cool. 19. 40s game probably. An old pinball style game here. Over here I think these are all doll clothes. There's doll, doll clothes. And this one's marked Barbie clothes. Oh that's good. Vintage Barbie stuff sells really well. So that's a hot item there. That's a good find. Some of these clothes and accessories can sell a lot. They have a complete, uh, looks like a complete luggage bag set. That's fun. Alright, a little update for you guys. We've been digging, making little sections of goodies. Got all the vintage glassware in this area. Some cool cups. These tend to sell really well. Got some old vintage medicine uh, tins and vials. Kitchen's looking really good with our uh, vintage Tupperware. Got all the Corningware, which is becoming very popular nowadays. Making really good progress on the living room. Almost done with this room. All right, time to tackle this garage. Oh boy. All right, definitely making progress in the garage. I made it to the toy chest. Let's see what's in it. Got some vintage Halloween masks. It's like a nurse, a spine, a clown. And some more vintage Fisher Price school toys. Nothing spectacular, but some fun stuff. Turns out this trunk is full of old vintage children's clothes. These cute little mittens. Oh, the snowman on it. Oh my goodness. Adorable. Full underneath here too. Alright guys, we did it. We finished setting up the sale. It was a lot of fun, a lot of digging, a lot of treasure hunting. We had a blast. Now what I thought I'd do, it'd be fun, is show you guys some of the few items that I found that were really interesting that I really enjoyed finding at the sale. And then stick around at the end and I'm going to show you the before and after of each room. You don't want to miss it. Okay, first thing on my list of favorite finds this week is the corny phone. Have you ever seen a corn harmonica before? I have not. Ten bucks. 
Next item on my list is the Frosty the Snowman Crib Blanket. This thing's absolutely adorable. Still in the box, never been taken out, essentially. Still folding up in the, folded up in the wrapping paper. Totally cute. We got $18 on it. Last but not least, we have this 8th Hour Standard Brand Roasted Coffee Wood Chest. It's really cool, very primitive. Uh, we don't see a lot of coffee memorabilia. And we got 100 bucks on it. 